this out. Come on up so you can continue, he can continue to entertain you while I talk. Um, we should have done this earlier in life. <laughs> I think this is awesome. Baby dedication and child dedication here at Calvary um, is a relationship that these guys are beginning with our church. That we as a church want to be a church that comes alongside, that encourages, that equips, and champions parents to be the spiritual heroes of their kids. We believe that God has challenged each family to be a tiny discipleship center, and that he has called us as a church to come alongside parents in that journey and that venture. And so this is a two-way relationship where we are connecting a home and a church, and that we as a church are here to come alongside these two and support and love and challenge families. And so we as a church would encourage you to pray for, encourage you to uh, pour into the lives of Mateo and Lucas as they grow up. And their parents are here this morning to share why they would like to dedicate their these two little guys um, and kind of their family mission mission statement and, and how they want to be proactive in doing that. So I'm going to turn it over to Jordan and you can share for a minute, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. Thank you, church. We want to do this because we know that our love is finite, but God's love is unconditional, it's infinite, it's eternal, it's true, it's trustworthy, it's pure, and we want our children to know that love. So our mission statement um, is to, this is our family mission statement now, is to gather regularly, to, to know God, means to study Him, do His do devotionals, pray together, and then first love each other, first focus right here. Uh, and then from that kind of love, uh, go out and, and make sure we're loving consistently with others in our community, our neighbors. And then uh, because, well, this is especially important for me, um, Ephesians 4.2, uh, bear with one another with all humility and gentleness. Uh, that's very, very key uh, for us as a family to do that um, as we live and do life together um, in, in our home. And the last uh, thing I'd like to say is just... Um, we, we would invite you to not just encourage us. I think that's an under, understood. I think I want to be very clear that we want you to feel comfortable coming alongside us and admonishing us and saying, hey, uh, I heard that, that tone that you just used with your son. Uh, where's your heart at, Jordan? We invite you to, to, to come alongside us and, and truly um, encourage and, and build us up. Anything else, Gloria? No, uh, we are very thankful to have you as a family. My mom is visiting from Spain, but we don't have family close by. So um, it's very important for us that you are in this journey with us, and, and we feel blessed. That's it. We feel so blessed. Call you friends. Call you family. Awesome. Amen. Thank you guys so much. We, yeah, so I've got to know this guy. Yeah, yeah. uh, it's so great to see your hearts, to see your kids, that this is the beginning of making joyful, passionate disciples of Christ. And as you guys have been in missions, doing that to the ends of the earth. And so there is a covenant that's going to come um, up on the screen. And we as a church are going to read this together. Um, and then I'm going to pray for them. So church, here we go. We will love you as God has loved you. We will encourage you to love others and do good deeds in the name of Christ. We will rejoice to you. We will help you through difficult times and carry your burdens. We will pray for you throughout your life. You are a blessing from the Lord. Okay, I'm going to pray for these guys together. If you want to extend your hand, just um, to participate with me um, as we bless them to be uh, the parents and raise these kids know and love Jesus. God, we thank you so much for the olive oils. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gifts of Lucas and Mateo. We thank you that... Um, their parents know you and love you. I pray for Jordan and Val that you would strengthen their marriage, that you would use them to raise Jordan, or excuse me, to raise Lucas and Mateo, to know you and love you, that they would become joyful, passionate followers, God. Um, we thank you so much for this time that we can share this vision together, Jesus. Um, I pray that you would help us as a church to come alongside Jordan and Val, uh, to encourage them, but also to admonish them, Lord, when it's tough. Um, God, we pray for the end that you would be glorified through this family. In your awesome name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.